guys. Uh, Votion, all that in adventure. This is going to be a fantastic webinar because we're going to cover a lot of stuff today, guys. Um, the, so, so the first thing I want to get over here is kind of my journey into the digital world. Besides pricing for the last 16 years, we're to focus on removal and fix implant support of prosthesis and going through all the fellowships, the masterships, is for the last five years, this has been a very heavy emphasis, at least for my practice, with digital dentures. And we have been incorporating everything from conventional to same day implant supported prosthesis. And I bring a very unique perspective with the iVotion that from the very launch of the iVotion about four years ago, I've seen both the clinic and laboratory side of the iVotion product. And that's because my practice has the clinic and the laboratory side. Um, I want to give myself a small kudos in fact that we were the first practice in Texas to offer the iVotion solution to patients. And so, one of the main reasons why I really am impressed with this product because in doing this for the past 16 years, I was needing something more special. So my approach to digital dentures was that I needed something more predictable, easily reproducible, accessible, cost effective, and future proof. So let's see how the iVotion fits all of those criteria. So let's start with misconceptions about digital dentures. A lot of uh, docs and, and maybe including the staff would think that digital dentures can solve all denture problems. That's not true. Other misconceptions might be digital dentures are no different than in traditional dentures. Not, not true either. Docs also think that this is a foolproof bullet and you can now can start skipping clinical steps. Worst case scenario, they even start thinking that these cases can be completely done by the dental assistant. And there's no more need for any convention on pressures or records. We still are going to need conventional records for a lot of these cases. Uh, however, there are some situations and criteria that's involved if you're going to scan. And there are situations where you can scan and do conventional um, records. But for the most part, we're going to basically cover how you can get into the iVotion without having to change anything um, different in your practice. So what are digital dentures? Why iVotion? Let's review the types of analog dentures and digital dentures. You know, we're all familiar with the flask and pack um, compression type technique. Very labor intensive. A lot of skill is acquired in this technique. We also have the co-care or poor technique, which still is still required in this. And at one point or another, there was some light cure dentures going on, not as popular as the cold cure. Then we have the Ivo base, which is got some technology involved. It's, it's controlling the heat process and the curing of the acrylic, the injection technique. Now we also have in this new age of printed dentures. Printed dentures, for the most part, can be subdivided into SLA, DLP, and masked SLA printing technology. And just by looking at 
these three pictures here, you cannot tell what the difference is. So let's dive deep. Laser versus uh, fossil bills are quite different. So it's difficult to compare by numerical specifications alone. So this is just kind of hit the hot spots of what the differences are. A laser SLA is slower print times, but it gives you better optimal resolution and surface finish. You have large build tables, and it can be used since it's independent of build volume. Okay, the DLP SLA faster print times, but a smaller build table is needed to reduce trade-offs and distortion the resolution and surface finish. Okay, it's more like a projector at this point. The MSLA, okay, which is basically the mask SLA, is faster. You get larger build table, okay. The trade-offs is there's no control in the resolution and the surface finish. The light from the LED array cannot undergo any optical correction. The LCD photo mask is set. And so what does this really mean? Depending on the technology selected would depend on the speed, production, resolution, surface finish, and post-process time of the printed denture. So as we see here, the comparison between the print and the mill denture, what should I say, the earlier mill dentures, it still is done, but this is showing where you can add carded teeth to the base. And then the print denture, you basically would add the print teeth to the base. There's pros and cons to this, especially with carded teeth that can pop off from the base. So as we move forward to the avulsion, we are now able to not only mill the entire arch of teeth and add to the base, giving it additional strength, we now can literally mill the teeth and the base in one puck, giving it the ultimate strength and predictability when it comes to uh, prosthetics. So, why of ocean? Let's go through all of her elegance and brawn. The Avocian denture is a one disc, one million, one denture process. It has a fantastic design software that seamlessly incorporates into the final product. The Avocian is a monolithic digital denture that is made of high quality polymethylmethacrylate material for long lasting removable dentures. It comes in various shades to BL3, the A3 and a half. It even has the gingerbread shades such as Preference, Pink V, and others. Now, looking at this slide here, it's a very amazing um, technology where it is a seamless blend from the tooth and the gingiva shades. And this is a, a high cross link uh, polymethacrylate material. And there's a patent design with the shell geometry, which matches seamlessly with the software. And so this shell geometry is what is defining the transition between the tooth shade and the gingival shade. So with the abotion, the CAD CAM process, uh, as we see here, it has this very unique blue ribbon. This ribbon corresponds to the shell geometry found in the abotion puck. And this how it demarcates the tooth from the pink gingiva. 
You can adjust the positions. You can do the morphing. For example, if you patient has an idea that they want something that they had with the natural teeth, it can be done in the ocean. And so this unique shell geometry allows for very natural appearance for the prosthetic. This is straight from the mill with a polish. This is the advantage of the CAM 5 output that I was describing earlier. It's just a detail in this that's repeatable, which is a big advantage if you need to remake it, if the patient loses it. But primarily from the day one, it has an unbelievable aesthetic approach that patients just love. What is very unique also about the out of ocean is that with their mills, there's an exclusive CAM 5 output format. What does that mean? This is like a ramped up uh, STL, which is specific to Ivoclar's products. What does that mean? It's going to increase the efficiency uh, in the lab, such as the morphology recognition, searching direction, or the milling, recognition of restoration types, and then the strategy that's going to be in the mill. And I also want to add on here, it's not on here, but clinical aesthetics. Um, some of the things that this machine can do through this CAM 5 output makes it reproducible if you have to have this product again in the future, such as a lost denture, the, um, the dog got to the denture. You can get the same aesthetics, it's repeatable. Whereas with humans, it may not be the same. So this CAM file output is, is a tremendous benefit for replacing the product or from the very first product from the aesthetics. So as we see here, the Ocean Pup, basically uh, three steps. Once it's milled, it comes out and it's going to be uh, processed and finished down. Some of the concerns that, patient, uh, that dentists have and patients is how is it going to look? How are the aesthetics? We all have a certain preference when it comes to aesthetics and what we're kind of used to for our patients. And patients have high aesthetic demands. They don't want people to think they have a denture. They want it to look very natural. So in this slide, I challenge you to see if you can tell the difference between carded teeth that you're used to and the milk teeth. Well, there you go. There is no difference. If anything, it might be slightly better. But there's no difference that you're going to experience from the carded teeth to the male teeth. So you're not going to lose out on all the special, um, like, veneers that you've been used to as far as the tooth library. Now, there are some limitations with Albotian, but this is why they call it the Albotian system just not the Avocian puck. The entire Avocian system has a one-piece to a two-piece, which is called oversized milling, to compensate for unique anatomy considerations, such as closed verticals, high palatal bolts, such as, in this case here, a high palatal bolt. Um, this is not going to mill more likely on a one-piece pup. So the oversized process is going to incorporate both a gingiva base and a tooth-colored disc. There are two variations, a Bocian Dent, a Bocian Dent Multi. 
It does use the Ablotion bond. This bond is extremely strong. From my experience today, teeth do not break off once it's bonded. So the oversized process is five steps. We got the base, we got the teeth, and in step three, as you see, this is the, the point where we're going to use the Avocian bond. Once that's bonded through the CAM5 process, it remembers that pup, and it knows that you added those teeth to the base. Goes back in the mill, it knows this, and it will find mill the base and the teeth together. When it's finished milling, it's going to look like a one-piece denture. That is awesome. It looks really beautiful. You, I can't tell the difference, and I've been um, working with this product for the last four years. Now, going to the brawn of this product, this is another amazing point here. We're going to do a fracture-resistant test. Here we have the outer base, which everyone knows about. It's a very, very strong denture through the injection uh, technique. We have the temporary PMMA material, which is used in, say, all X cases where we need the strength to make sure that our occlusal scheme and phonetics and aesthetics matches what the patient can use. And then we have the beautiful Alvotion, which has the aesthetics and the strength. So when you compare three products, two of them that are well known, to with the Alvotion, you see that the Alvotion comes out the strongest. That's saying a lot. That's, that's saying a lot, especially against that. Uh, temporary PMA material. We've all been asking for that. Can we get a stronger material? That's a denture like this one, but has the aesthetics. In other words, has the pink gingival uh, color to it. So the other unique aspect about Alvotion is there's less bacteria growth, making this a more or hygienic prosthetic for our patients. And so whether it's polished or unpolished compared to the outer base or the Lucitone material, which is digital, print material, it comes out on top. So if we're looking for something for long-lasting prosthetic that's more hygienic for our patients, this is a very good product. 